welcome back to another weekly vlog so i look horrendous right now it is a monday mondays are days where you just are working all day you feel ugly because it's like the start of the week you just feel really tired because like you've had to wake up early from being busy at the weekend you know what i mean so my skin is actually breaking out loads and i've actually been doing my skincare for two days straight now which is a world record so please yeah, give me an applause because i actually have been doing my skincare but it has resulted me in seriously breaking out well here are actually two massive spots which actually kill like i'm not gonna lie i did squeeze a couple of spots which is really bad but i did use a warm compress to kind of draw them out so but technically i wasn't actually causing any harm to my skin anyway i actually have a candle lit it's like the yankee sugar blossom candle if you guys have never smelt the candle oh my god it smells of like a perfume it basically smells of like a woman who smells good you know what i mean it smells really nice but yeah and i'm also having an alcoholic beverage today which i don't really have i have in here passion fruit vodka I've got tropical flavoured syrup in there and some fresh orange juice, which is a combo I have never tried before, but it's an absolute passion fruit the vodka, which I got for my birthday off my grandma and it is unreal. Also entertaining YouTube video, a weekly vlog. It's actually quite a short a weekly vlog because like, I put all the footage into iMovie and it only came to like 45 minutes, which is really short because usually it goes to like an hour and 10 minutes and then I've got to compress everything down. Also, yesterday, my mum, such a diamond. Look at this, what she got me. Oh, she's so happy. And then she also got me like a new deodorant as well. Cause like she always buys me deodorants and stuff because I really like, it, it's gonna sound really weird, but I really love, I do have a bit of, an, I do have a bit of an obsession with this scent. It, it's the Shua, like the pink and orange flower one. If you know what I mean, you'll know what I mean, but it's the nicest smelling deodorant ever and it's not how much I love it so yeah she bought me a new one because I'm absolutely obsessed with it <laughs> so now you know what deodorant I use but yeah and after this oh my god it is a bit strong mind it does have a bit of soda water in it and that's kind of watered it down a bit but like it is strong at the same time like oh I think it's because I'm, I rarely ever drink like I probably only drink like it once or twice a month so they're very rare good morning everybody so it's now Tuesday, I've woke up, I've had my breakfast, I've had a shower. It's now time to put a little bit of makeup on because I've decided I want to put some on today because my skin has just broken out like everywhere. Like I have the most painful spot on my chin. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to cake my face in makeup, but I just want to look like I have a smooth complexion because i am sick of looking at all these spots on my face so i've got my makeup case with me i did have some spot paste on so i used some toner to remove it with so now all the spot paste is gone yeah, but these two spots are awful anyway enough of me talking about the things on my face i'm just gonna do my makeup in yeah, this case is the best it's from dh gate i'm hoping it'll be like a dh gate haul up by the time i'm filming this weekly vlog i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it will be up because if this the weekly vlog is like two weeks behind so i think it will be so I keep up my makeup brushes in here it's probably not the most hygienic thing ever because it's in like a closed bag and then like the bacteria can spread to all the brushes and that's probably why i do have a lot of spots on my face or it could just be hormonal who knows or a mix of both so i'm first going to do my eyebrows and stuff and it just go on from there so the foundation i will be using today is the see if it's one this way i like this foundation for when you don't have any spots on your face because it it's actually a foundation where you just have like a really nice coverage but it kind of shows up your spots after like a few hours it is like an oil-free foundation, which is good to my skin type, but it can just be one of those foundations where it comes off easily on your face as well. So that's why I, 
I prefer Beauty Nars foundation, however, like it's like my favourite tan shades. I can't be using that one, but that one is my ultimate favourite. I love it so much. So yeah, I have to be using plenty of concealer today because oh my god, it actually kills. So yeah, no wish me luck. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos then while I do my makeup and just hope for the best and hopefully you won't see any little spots in my face because I don't want them to be shown ever again. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be gone in a few days because that's it usually go like in a few days anyway, so I'm hoping it'll be fine. And I'll feel more alive to be honest. Like I actually feel more normal. I don't have any lip stuff on, so it looks like I don't have like any any lips because I've got like foundation lips, but you can go have my lunch soon. I thought, well, I'm not gonna put some lipstick on and then just for it to come off it must be like a waste. So yeah, so I've done my makeup. You can still kind of see you know, spots on this foundation, as I said, it is like a high coverage foundation, but I'd say it's more kind of medium. It's better for people who just have smooth skin all the time. Whereas for myself, I do break out a lot. It is a lovely foundation though. It is like a really runny foundation, but it does blend nicely. So yeah, I've done my makeup, feel more alive. This spot, oh my God, is actually killing me today. Like, I just know it's gonna get like, even bigger with this makeup on but I was not going to work with like a really spotty skin because it's made me feel so self-conscious but you know it's fine. I absolutely feel disgusting because if you can't tell I have the more spots on my face today even though I've been doing my skincare. Yeah I'm just really feeling ugly at the moment and it's okay to feel like that because if you can't be feeling nice and pretty all the time you know so yeah I've been at work this morning, I got home around like an hour ago, I finished work at 11, started at 6, finished at 11, it's like, like a nice 5 hours, you know, but yeah, anyway, I am about to have a lunch, I've, I've just been in the shower and washed and dried my hair, oh my god, my skin is terrible, I do have a very important YouTube video to film today, so I'm going to put some makeup on for that. Yeah, but this is annoying me like why and yeah, last night i actually used along with like all my skincare bits i used yeah, the crichton's crichton's salicylic acid it did kind of make my spots kind of burn but i like that sensation because like i feel as if it's actually doing something to spots you know what i mean but yeah skin is just having a major breakout right now but scott is going to be coming in around like an hour an hour and a half if not like you plan to do anything you might have like a little walk somewhere but i don't know but i want to put this dressing gown on because i feel so cold i'm also wearing my little zara top and my nike leggings you're lovely in blue and i'm now going to put my new dressing gown that, that i got for christmas i'm going to go and, and have a lunch now so i've got a leftover pizza to have from yesterday and then I, i'm just got some crisps I know it isn't very healthy, but, you know, I'm not a health freak and I do eat very healthily, but just not for like the first half of the day. I usually like at tea time and I have like a lot of eggs and stuff and fruit, but for now, I'm just going to stuff my face with whatever I like because I can, you know. But yeah, so I've got a Pepsi Max to... I've got a Pepsi Max to keep me awake as well. It does have caffeine in it and obviously it had been up since five. So yeah, I've got a little caffeine kick to hopefully wake me up. I look more normal now and I look like I don't have any spotty skin. So win-win. But anyway, I am now going to be filming a YouTube video. It's quite an important YouTube video. So I'm going to have to be very focused. I'm going to have to remember everything. When you're working with a brand on a sit down video it's always a lot more stress and like you've got to make sure that you've included everything so i'm gonna have to just be they're very they're very organized with what I, i'm doing you know so yeah but anyway it's got his own way so hopefully by the time i film this video he should be here but yeah i feel all glam for once i actually have a full face of makeup on in a youtube video for a change in the past few youtube videos i've barely had any makeup on so you need to change have something on but yeah I'm just gonna get my camera set up and get the products out. What's here now? Hello. He's been on the phone to 
the insurance company for <laughs> his cake business. Yeah, he found out the name and like he was joking about me, like just Didn't trying to. The name. It was they, they're just back. trying to wind me up. Yeah, but anyway, it's actually brought this. There's some little bits and bobs the fruit my mum ordered from him. As I told you, also I'm going to show you what I've got him because. No, I'm going to show you what he's got us because they look really good. I always haven't opened the boxing switch light on them, please. The middle one. Oh no, it's the middle one. Uh, uh, it's that one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well the done. The lights have gone. No, they haven't. The lights. There's a switch for them. All oh, right. Anyway. You can't see them very well on the box. It didn't look very good. Right. And caramel brownie. Yep. Chocolate orange cookie slice. Cherry bake rocky road. Peanut butter brownie. And you've got a Kinder Bueno Blondie. Mmm, exciting. And you've also got allergy information on the side of the box. Yeah. And I'm rebranding my delivery boxes and I'm oh, yeah? sending them across the UK. Hey. Brownies, so it's coming very, very, very yeah. soon. Just a sit. Just stay tuned to follow Kicks Your Crave on Instagram if you haven't already. Here. Yep. Link into my Instagram page in the description below. Oh, okay. Thanks, Al. <laughs> no problem at all, but anyway, we're off to the bank now. Yeah, the bank of Scott. <laughs> I'm gonna spend all this money today. I'm joking. I'm not really. Yeah, Woo! Woo! But yes, we're gonna be going. Oh, I mean, if it actually gets robbed, it looks like it's. Okay. Oh, give over! You, you won't get robbed, you weirdo. The best outfit of the day. I've got my. He's trying to wear his leggings on. Got the third pair. I've got the Mazara top on. I've got my Balenciaga bag on, and I've got my next shoes on. And what's your outfit, Primark? Karat. Adidas underneath. Adidas. And what are these with Ryland Primark? Oh, Levi's. Oh, Levi's. And then Feeler. The dead big, dead like keep. And you got to definitely 28 waist. And then Feeler. And then, uh, well, I, I was going to order them green jeans, but I think I'll leave it. You went to your birthday just in case you've got them for your birthday. I definitely won't have got them. No. Just in case. But I don't like, I, I'd rather spend money on the business than on me. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all believe that for one second. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway. No, I just pay for going to Windermere and paying for the meal and paying yeah. for the petrol, diesel. And it's all right. You know. Yeah, we're going to go to the shop. What do you pay for, honey? In my phone bill, petrol, rent. Yes, so don't be... Listen, I don't pay anything because I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're back home from town. Yeah, we ended up uh, buying a few things. I bought... A hoodie from TK Maxx actually in the men's and I got yes, a few things for like a future video which it might be up after this vlog I'm not sure yet it depends on how I plan and time my videos to go up but in TK Maxx they yeah, had a lot of good well a lot of good clothes in the men's because it always is better in the men's because, like sometimes you go in there's nothing and today it was like everything I know like, like homeware, everything candles Pictures, frames, prints. Like, absolutely everything. And there was like a clearance on like a lot of stuff. Have you actually got uh, two pairs of joggers, didn't you? Mm. At least a complete orange pair. It meant to be uh, £75. Pounds. I have a guess how much they were meant to be. Three, two, one. Uh, how much were they? 20 quid? Oh, £24.99. That's really good. And then you got like a, an essentials pair for 20 Or is it less than that? Or fifteen. Um, Fourteen ninety nine. That's really good. And then I got the other matching hoodie to go with <coughs> his the, the joggers because he did try his hoodie on but in the medium and it was slightly too small in the arms. But I got it in a small, it is in the men's, like it is obviously gonna be slightly yeah, bigger, nice but I got it in a, a men's. Oh they're nice. It basically just says it's quite hard to show but it just says blank essentials and then like it says it on the back in big. Honestly, yeah, this reminds me of yeah, the merch that the, the Davy girls actually brought out a day a day view or something something like that and yeah, the actual yeah, essentials brand yeah, what's the retail price of this i, I don't know but this is 19.99 like it's really thick good quality and his the joggers are really good quality but yeah that's like the tag it looks so yeah, minimalistic oh yeah these these are the joggers aren't they the yeah yes yeah, so got the matching joggers. Yeah, they are understand. slightly more yellowy, creamy tones, but they are really nice. I like them. They're, but yeah, so look at this. Like fluffy, look at that. But 
But I don't understand how the medium hoodie yeah. was like too tight on my arms and like tight here. And then with these mediums, I had to change oh, for a small and they're still baggy. It just shows that the sizing is different and everything, isn't it? The base hoodie is really nice. I'm not going to put it on but now. I'm going to wear it. I don't have any makeup on, but yeah. It, yeah, you it, say that. And it's so have, comfortable. Then you'll get makeup on it one day. I know, and, and it'll just be stained with makeup. Then it'll be a makeup hoodie. and Yeah, and there'll be one of them hoodies, and I'll get a new hoodie, and I'll, wear, like, I'll keep it clean for like a few weeks, and it'll be. Yeah. It's just a never ending cycle of things. But before we have our tea at half six, we're actually going to make. It's got a TikTok account. Are we? But not oh. for his purse, like, for his cake business. Honestly, the TikTok is the way to go in promoting the Instagram and YouTube and stuff. Like, I used to do TikTok, but now I don't because I, I do find it it's such a toxic, tacky, a toxic like a, a platform to be on. But for cakes, you're obviously not going to get the people hating on cakes, are you really? Um... Well, unless it wasn't their cup of tea, but obviously. He's ignored them, but we're going to make him a TikTok account. So by the time his TikTok is live, I'll Spider put it on the screen Man, here. Sorry. So yeah. Who are you? Sorry. Aren't we? You could just easily change the username to <laughs> the cake you crave. Oh my god, two followers. But yeah, Four following. we're going to do this. Um, it's just Mordi. I chuffed with the bits for the video. So yes, we're going to get on the roll and make you a TikTok account. Woohoo! And. All he's gonna do is just post all his reels onto TikTok. I don't do many reels. Reels. I put like cakes on. Kind of put okay, pictures do, on. Do, can, they're yeah. like a montage of like photos. Have I got say, time to make that? I've already got time to put a photo on. Yeah, well, I'll make you one then. Thanks. But yeah, yeah we're gonna be getting our socials made. Yeah. All your socials. Yeah. Hey everybody! I literally feel so tired. My eyes feel so heavy, but you know it's all right. Like, yeah. I feel really tired, so I've been at work this morning again. I actually had a really early finish because I started at 6 and I finished at 9.45 because a lot of the people... I basically work in a supermarket. I do the home shopping side of things, so it does mean getting up early and stuff. But basically, a lot of the delivery drivers are off sick, so that means a lot of the orders have been cancelled, which means that... A lot of us got an early finish. So I I was home by ten o'clock. Like yeah, that is the earliest I have ever finished like work. Like ever. So it was kinda of weird to come home and like I obviously had my lunch early because I was absolutely starving by the time I got home. But yeah, so I'm now I'm sitting in my bed, looking at my hoover on the floor. I'm gonna have to like hoover and dust my room because I usually clean my room like every thursday but sometimes i've left it like every two weeks which is a really bad habit to get into because it makes you feel lazy if you don't clean if you don't clean your room every week i do change my bedding every other week it doesn't it really need changed every week because it just doesn't you know so i'm kind of looking what's going on outside i'm sorry i get distracted really easily but yeah anyway yeah so i've just been booking people in for at the salon tomorrow, I do have a really quiet week this weekend, so I most likely won't be working Saturday, but I'm going to be going to see Scott on Saturday, I think, like, all day. Uh, so I'm on YouTube jump from Primark, which I can get off Christmas, off my mother. Yeah, update on the skin, I'm just going to, like, update you all on my skin. I've been using more of that salicylic like, acid, whatever you call it, I don't even know how to pronounce it, and it has been working on my spots. They are totally going away. I, after I've cleaned my room, I will be filming a YouTube video. I don't know if it's going to be up before or after this weekly vlog. I think it might be up before. It's basically testing Poundland makeup. So I bought eighteen pounds worth of makeup from Poundland yesterday, and honestly, it actually looks really good. So I'm actually really excited to try it out. I'm hoping it'll be good. But yeah, you will wait and see for that. But yeah, anyway. I'm going to get my dusters out, get my anti back spray and just spray on my surfaces and just clean until it's all nice and clean. And then I've got some editing to do. So this is my Thursday down to a T. <laughs> Work, lunch, the room clean, YouTube, editing.
yep and then sleep because i literally need sleep right now the best feeling in the world is actually having nicely hoovered carpets and now i know the other carpets in this room are very stained because at least have been in since i was little and no chance it will be going to replace them because i have stained them a lot and uh, to be honest this is really bad but i still stain them to this day but the other thing is they're nice and hoovered and clean so this is what you know, my room actually looks like when it's actually neat and tidy yeah it may still be messy to some people but this is like perfect obviously i do have a few bits on there which i need to move but yeah also i have a nomination charm up for sale because it arrived three years later i think about i think about i've already told you guys about it it's a little butterfly charm if you know anybody who would they like this charm i'll probably sell it for 10 pounds or maybe you can maybe negotiate a price but it's brand new they've never been worn and just like a little the rose gold butterfly because i don't use it and my mum already has that charm and a bracelet because i remember getting it for her but yeah so yeah you have to you message me on instagram alistair holmes and scott and it comes to like all the original packaging i've not actually like the use any of the packaging yet but yeah it comes in the original box and everything so give me a message because it is a genuine item and it is very cute yeah i literally look like oh my god i just i'm not feeling myself this week and i don't keep saying it i have done my skincare hence why i do have really glowy skin but yeah anyway i have in my gingerbread candle burning i actually blew out the sugar blossom one because that a Yankee candle gives me a headache but I'm really excited because this one barely has any can like any wax in it left and that means I can now burn another candle because as I said I'm only burning two candles at a time because I don't want to like use them all up at once but this one has been going since early November time and it's still going strong <laughs> it, it, it's been burning through Christmas it's still there so I'm hoping by the end of tonight in the three hours it'll be yeah, this much left but yeah anyway i am going to do some advertising again honestly it is so hard like this is very this is very serious talking now running your own business is super hard and it's a lot harder during these difficult times where people are getting ill and having to isolate and just the covid and the new rules and stuff and people are worried more about catching colds and stuff but it means that it's having a major strain on all businesses and not just beauty businesses but all businesses more so in the beauty side because it means that people are booking in and then cancelling because they've got ill um you know i'm not hating towards anybody who's had to cancel because obviously it's been happening to everybody but it has been really annoying because obviously the business is my source of income it's not the main source of income because luckily i still have another job on the side and also the youtube is a part-time income for me as well so i'm basically doing three i'm basically i basically have three part-time jobs which is not bad obviously the supermarket is my main income and then i'll probably say youtube and the beauty bit is probably the same amount i'd say but yeah so i have been advertising non-stop and literally nobody wants to book in because they either go to their kind of local beautician or they'll have someone who they go to all the time for like the makeup and stuff so it's really hard gathering new people <laughs> so yeah i still don't have anybody booked in for saturday but the next saturday I think I have one person. You know, it's better than nothing. I mean, I don't think I've actually spoken in depth about like what it's like being in the salon, but ah, they basically have a room at the very back, and then besides in my room at the back, there's a lady who does like aesthetics, so basically lip fillers, lip blush. I think she does Botox. She does all of the more kind of advanced treatments, which is really good, obviously but she's been really struggling as well and obviously 
businesses when we should write down you know and even you know, the hairdressers at the front of the salon have had cancellations and yeah it's like you know, nobody's booking in at the moment and it's really sad but i do have a mobile makeup appointment on sunday so i'm hoping it'll still it'll still go ahead i have been taking deposits for makeup obviously i can't really take deposits for like the waxing and facials because i i only offer three types of treatments that's waxing facials and makeup the probably waxing being the most common because people want to have like the facial hair removed more often compared to having the makeup done probably once a year or twice a year you know but yeah so it's just kind of thinking of ways to entice people to book in but if any of you guys are maybe watching this and you live in Cumbria please give me a message on either my personal or makeup page and even if it's coming for like your eyebrow wax or something like at least it's supporting the local business but i do understand that people are saving money as well and for myself i'm trying to save the money just in case anything happens with my job in the future you know like we just don't know what's going to happen so a lot of people have been sensible and it has just been christmas and it is in january the worst month of the year but yeah i just wanted to kind of talk to you openly about how i'm finding the business i mean i have enjoyed meeting new people i love the side of being able to meet the new people and kind of connect with them and then you'll see them sharing your posts on facebook and instagram i love that side of it and you know but also the hardest side is actually trying to get the clients in the first place um but yeah and it's like a nice social side because i don't really socialize outside of work really like i obviously i obviously speak to people in work like in the supermarket i'm on about i'm the type of person who likes to keep myself to myself i have a very a very small circle of friends i never really see people that much because i'm just i work six days a week i know that i work i work shorter shifts but it, it means that the work comes first before doing anything else you know so yeah i don't really have like a massive social life that's why when people book in it's nice to be able to socialize with people and have like a catch-up you know but anyway yeah i have not been doing any editing i've edited a thumbnail honestly youtube is hard work and people don't actually understand how hard it is and yes it is more of a hobby for me even though it is like a part-time income it is it's still a hobby but oh my god it is hard work like taking time to film the video preparing videos editing thumbnails just everything and uploading it can take hours like yeah it is a lot of responsibility so imagine having three part-time jobs now, that's more than full-time pretty much so yeah it's a lot it's a lot but yeah, my plan is in the future obviously ever since the new year i've had the mindset of i will be able to, i will be able to achieve anything i put my mind to it and i am going to be able to quit the supermarket in a few years i'm hoping and either do youtube full-time or work in the salon part-time as well as youtube as much as love beauty i love the youtube more than that like i feel like you're your own boss and i know that i am with the beauty business but i feel as if with youtube i can just have full creativity i can please myself whenever you know it's just great so i think it'll be coming up five years i've been doing youtube for which is a long time and i know that i'm still at like three thousand subscribers but you know it's I enjoy doing it and five years on I still enjoy filming videos and making content so that's all that matters you know it, it comes from my heart this channel I know that I may come across as lazy or boring sometimes but it can't always be like upbeat all the time you know and it's good to have a little chat so I am going to be more honest on this channel you know and just update you all on how I'm feeling because you know this is my goal in life the new year's resolution to just be yourself don't care what anybody else thinks be open with people yeah so yeah anyway i'm gonna go to the toilet because i'm actually busting for a wee i'm not gonna lie i've been trying to drink more water because i want to have clear skin this is all i've been going about in this weekly vlog but this is the progress the transformation 
of having to support your skin to clear your skin. The next weekly vlog, you won't recognise me. <laughs> oh god, imagine if I actually woke up one day and just had clear skin. I'm sure that is everyone's dream in life, you know, just have perfect skin. We can always dream, and hopefully it'll come true. Yeah. Nice, colourful pasta tonight. No thanks. <laughs> no. Nope. Look who I get to see. Look at you, Daisy. She has a bit of sore leg from a walk, so I'm just trying to help her and look after her. And she's got a little Christmas teddy toy. How oh, cute that is. Look, it's got a bit of squeaker in her head. What's this? <laughs> wow, well done. The chef tonight and his new joggers. Like them. <gasps> What's this? Oh bless her, she's usually interested in the toys, but that needs to be fed up because it hurts your leg. Your leg hurts. Oh, look at her little eyes. Oh. And the fire's on, so yeah, this is the life, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go, girls. <laughs> well done. You're a rich kid. I'm a rich bitch. <gasps> Mother f***ing rich bitch. Oh. Me and Daisy are just chilling. We look like twins. We've got like the same colours on. Obviously brown and like the whitey cream. She's just on it's got little bed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's very sleepy. Scott's at his shop. I need to get a couple of bits from Lidl for him. Um, But yeah, someone's from Perfume. They've gone to like a party to... They've gone to like a party this afternoon. So that's why I'm... I'm dressed up, I'm not just dressing up for the sake of it, but here yeah, we're actually going out and Daisy has decided to sit with me. So yeah, the makeup took about like half an hour, probably 40 minutes actually. It all takes longer here because it's not actually like a makeup station. So yeah, but I'm going to go and see Scott. Oh, let sip on this thing. I have my new pants on from Christmas, off my mum and dad. But yeah. Yeah, so someone's got themselves a new bikini from Primark. So, it's not me. That oh no, me. we've been into town and basically I got a bikini because I fancy getting one. It's like this kind of lovely ready burgundy and it has like a gold hoop. It also had this like a lovely dark blue colour, but I thought I'd go for this colour because it's really nice. So I got this size six eight pounds. It's kind of pricey for like a bikini top, but it is very good quality and. It does look really nice. I've got that and obviously the matching bottoms which are five pounds. I love the gold detailing. I love it. I love it. I just love so it. So much and from home bargains. Yeah, my sister wanted the salicylic acid serum, whatever you call it. I don't even know how you pronounce it, but I it actually have you know, the whole kind of skincare range. So I decided to get you know, the exfoliant exfoliate in tonic and you know, the foaming clay. Your cleanser and these were two ninety nine each because I've actually read the reviews about all three of these online and everybody reads about it and it's really affordable as well. So I now have the whole collection. Thanks to Home Barkins for stocking. These people, what I've been doing now, eating sweets. No, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, what are you room for yourself now? An email popped up on my laptop about like a spa somewhere. In Cumbria, even though I am not taking him to anywhere in Cumbria because the special request it's got to be out of Cumbria, so that's what I've did. Uh, I've, I've done, hmm? but yeah, anyway. And yeah, it, it, the fairy light the ball actually fell off, so thank you for repairing that. You're basically going to watch the new I'll seasons of Afterlife, aren't we? I think I'll give Ladora a ring tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, funny. He also has this new joggers on because I have my new hoodie on, your blank essentials, and his new top on from his brother for his birthday or Christmas. And new slippers. And new slippers as well. And old watch because I lost Old watch, it. yes, he's lost his new one for Christmas off Where his girlfriend. That? I don't know. I've looked everywhere. I'm going to look, I haven't looked everywhere. I bet I'm you sold look it. In between the sofas. I bet you sold it on cash, the generator or something. That's a good idea. <laughs> no. I've and got you. a lot of stuff I could take there though. I know. We're gonna watch a bit of Afterlife, guys. Yeah, this is still a good fit. Yeah, these are not like two. Both fit in them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you need to spit on your drink. <laughs> oh, yes, we've 
got very cold. cold. I should have left them in a bit longer. But yeah, it, it, it is the key. It's beautiful. And Primark actually had quite a good few things in there. Ah! Sorry. Ow! Sorry. So, yeah. I'm chuffed a bit. So, for 13 quid. I don't think it was too bad. If you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog, you know what to do now. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also, subscribe because we are so close to 4,000 subscribers. Like, they were literally 40 away now, I think, which is really good. So, please keep subscribing and you could be entered into the giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.